Thank you for joining us on the Financial Pastor Podcast, where we discuss everyday truth from God's Word and how it applies to our daily living. And hope this will help you, encourage you, draw you closer to the Lord. God bless. Welcome back to the podcast, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We're in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. It says, Since we're surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. For you and I, we have a race to run. Every race is different. Everybody's created for a purpose. And once you realize your purpose in Jesus, you're created to follow the heavenly way. Jesus brought that way down to show us. And so once you become a follower of Christ, you serve to Jesus, you have a purpose. And uh, three things in these few verses we can look at. Number one is you need to look at previous winners to give you confidence to endure life. You know, life is hard. Life is a struggle. Uh, it's not being on a cruise ship. It's being on a battleship. And you're battling through the enemy territory, through uh, discouragement. And the way you can encourage yourself, the way you can make sure you keep going and stay disciplined is that you focus on previous winners. Chapter 11, we looked at it. It's the Hall of Faith. It's people that went before you. They endured difficult times and they succeeded. They were successful by faith, by having faith. Faith is uh, believing in things unseen. You can't touch, you can't feel it, but you uh, believe in the Word of God. You believe in the promise of God. You believe in the presence of God and you have faith. And when you study the Word, focus on the Word, you can have encouragement. And one way to do that is to look at previous people in the Bible, who's went through things like you, and it'll encourage it. Uh, people like Joseph, who had many family problems, but he endured, he was successful, he focused on God, and we can do the same. We can look at Moses in a job, dealing with difficult people. He endured, he was successful in that. Uh, we can look at David and Saul. Saul wanted to kill David, but David didn't retaliate. And maybe that's your situation. Whatever your situation, look at the Bible, how to be a, a better husband, a better wife, the Bible guides us in the right direction, uh, the heavenly way. And so you can look at previous winners is what that verse talks about. Then you can look at yourself. It says lay aside every weight. You know, in baseball, I remember we had these little collars you would put on the bat and it would be an extra weight. So when you were on deck, you could swing the bat. And what it would do is would repair you that when you got in the batter's box, the bat felt lighter. You would never carry that weight up with you into the batter's box. So in life, there's a lot of weights you're carrying around that's making life hard for you and you're not intended to have that. Some of it's not just sin. Some of it's things that are keeping you from God's word. It's distracting you. It's keeping you from living the life God has called you to live. And uh, some of those things you just get rid of. I know in college, uh, I, my professor challenged me to be a better student. To do that, I had to give up uh, going and playing basketball all the time. I still could do that, obviously. I had to give up watching college uh, basketball every single night, uh, going and hanging out, doing absolutely nothing. And I had to actually fill that time with going to the library, uh, reading a book, studying for an exam because I wanted to succeed. And I'm glad that I put that time in. It was worth it in the end. But I had to get rid of some weights in my life. And then it says the sin that besets us. You know, there's some sins in our life that we, we can't move forward. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Um, if you have known sin, when God convicts your heart of known sin, you need to confess it, give it to God, and then move away from it. Whatever the sin is, get away. Uh, if you keep it in reach, it's like this piece of paper here. If I keep this piece of paper, that's pretty. If I keep this piece of paper in in reach, I'm going to grab it. So you need to get sin out of your reach, and then it says uh, move forward with the example of Jesus. Verse two, looking into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, the joy that was set before him. Jesus ran a race, just like you're running a race. He ran from heaven down to earth. He ran from Bethlehem, where he was born, to uh, Calvary, I'm sorry, to Gethsemane, to Calvary, to the tomb, uh, back up to heaven. He ran a full race and he did it for you. And the reason he went through the pain and suffering, he endured the pain, he endured uh, the crucifixion. He endured being his body being broken and being bled out because of the joy he saw afterwards. He had a vision for the future. That was you and me. We were his joy. Uh, he saw you being saved. He saw you being reunited to him. And so he was willing to go through that for you and for me. You got to be willing to go through some things to be successful. There's no substitute for hard work. 
Uh, John Wooden, it took him 15 years to win his first championship. After that, he won seven um, in a row at one point. He won 10 out of 12. 10 out of 12 years, he won 10 championships. But it was extremely hard, discipline, and effort. But it was worth it. It was worth it to win. And it's worth it to win in life. But you got to understand, it's going to be a... Um, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a challenge. You got to keep encouraging yourself. You got to see the vision. You got to see the future, the promises of God, the word of God, the presence of God. Stay focused on that. Uh, get rid of sin in your life. Get rid of things that's holding you back from reading God's word and praying. Focus on Jesus, what he went through. Let him be your great example and run your race. Don't look to your left. Don't look to your right. Focus on what God has for you. He'll guide you. Just follow what the Bible says. To follow it, you just need to read it. If you say, I'm not a big reader, listen to it. Let's grab some headphones put them in. The Bible can read to you. Uh, podcast, people explain it. That's why we're here right now. We're explaining the Bible so you can listen to this. Then you can read the verses and have a better understanding of how you need to live. And so when you wake up in the morning, be running your race for God. Do right, love, mercy, be kind, walk humbly, and uh, treat people the way that you'd want to be treated, the way that Jesus would want people to be treated, because he is our great example. All right, hope that helps. Hope you have a good day, and uh, God bless. Thanks so much for listening to the Financial Pastor Podcast. Uh, if you have more questions or like to reach out to me, feel free to do so through email, brandon at alcova.com. Uh, you can also go to our website, victorybaptistcf.org. Also on Facebook, you can find us. And we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. And remember, uh, to be encouraged, God loves you. God's got a plan for you. Just continue to walk closer to Him. God